Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaire, I'm a photographer here in Los Angeles. Today I'm giving you the first ever office tour. This is my first office, and I'm gonna go through everything that I use it for, break down every section and how it's used, and we're gonna get into it right now. So, starting off, we've got the entrance section. Uh, this is a tray that holds mints and business cards, hand sanitizer, uh, lint roller for garments when they come in for their headshots and things of that nature. Also, this chair. Uh, that I got from Target. I'm gonna try to list everything that is available in the description below, but let's continue. Uh, moving over, this is a posing table. Um, I use this for a lot of headshots, uh, clients who wanna get their pose on and not just hands on their knees and the, yeah, the, the typical stuff like that. So this is for that. I got it from B&H. It does have height adjustment to it, but um, I don't see me doing headshots without it ever again. So a posing table is amazing. Moving along, we have this Ikea table, the good old laminate, limnon, limnon, I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, one of these on wheels just for a mobile working station. Mobile working station for guests or friends who come by and work. Um, also, if I have an intern come in, they have somewhere to work at, as well as a stool for them to sit at as well. Um, and also, this would be a top-down setup for when I have my overhead rigs. I'm gonna mount the camera here on this shelf, also from Ikea. I think this is the LAC shelf. Um, yeah, so mount the camera here, and then I have a nice top-down shot, and I can put different backdrops and stuff on the table and then put a lighting and all that good stuff. So moving along, I want to highlight this part because these are Polaroids of everyone who has been to the office. And if it's not, it's because I forgot to take yours uh, when you were here. But this was kind of like a, a self-reflection thing because when I got this office, I was very self-doubt and I didn't believe in myself and all the things that creatives go through. So this is proof that people will come. People will come to your space if you create it. And these are just reminders. So I particularly bought a film camera, a Polaroid camera. Uh, we'll get to it later, which one. But this is just a reminder that if you build it, they will come. So this wall will definitely be filled up by the next time you see an office tour. And on top of this little office box, whatever you want to call it, this is a beauty dish that I use for different lighting setups. And this is also a replica surface. If I wanna get creative, have it look like a kitchen countertop with a marble, I have that option there. Uh, but this uh, cabinet closet, whatever you wanna call it, I actually got it from a college university. Um, it's one of those uh, closets where the business people hang their suits up in it and uh, their jackets and stuff. But I don't use it for that, of course. Um, you have tools and things in here, tape, magnets, uh, Advil, nothing special, but in this larger section is where I hold my stools, um, my C-stand, as well as a broom and a mop. Just somewhere to tidy up and put things that need to get out of the way when I'm not using them. Uh, yeah, so that's this giant heavy situation here. Next, uh, probably the highlight of my office is these DIY content walls is what I like to call them. Um, this was made out of necessity. I wanted something different, but still usable for multiple things. So I use these for headshots, backgrounds for my uh, product shots, as well as for my talking head videos that you probably have seen before. So one side is the good old wood veneer hub, uh, wood slat panels, as well as the back side is just black acoustic paneling that I got from Amazon. And these things work wonders. Um, I made two. Uh, I did a whole video on the breakdown how to um, create these and I linked that up in the video above, but I made two of them. So these are six and a half feet in height and three feet in width. So altogether it's about, what, six feet, seven feet width? I don't know, I suck at math, but yeah. Um, and behind there is where I store my backdrops for headshots. Uh, I got this holder from Adorama? Adorama, yeah. It's a impact backdrop holder. Um, I only use the four foot backdrops in here. I don't have space for anything else, so I only do headshots in this office. So different colors, and 
I have gray, white, and another gray hanging up right now, but this is a nice little small solution to getting backdrops out of the way, but still stored in a nice orderly fashion. Next to that, we have something else that I built. Um, this is a trolley cart, I guess I'll call it that, the trolley cart that I built from scratch. I'll actually link the video to the blueprints that I took from it to make this. But this cart is just to hold everything else that I use for photography. So we have a flag here. We have a couple of smaller um, tripod stands or C-stands, whatever you want to call them. Not the heavy duty ones. We have a soft box with a grid on it. This is where my eye lighter is for headshots as well. Um, and also modifiers for my aperture lights. I have a 100D, as you can see right here, as well as a 60D, which we will get to later. But I also have a small rig tripod for my everyday uses when I do YouTube videos in here and getting some nice smooth B-roll shots. So that's the trolley cart. Next, we have this fan here um, from Amazon. It's a tower fan. Um, other than it being hot in here, which is why I got it, but it's also quiet, so it doesn't interfere with any of my filming in here. So yeah, get you a nice fan. That's a quiet fan. Next, we have my main desk setup. Um, this is years in the making. This took a lot of money and a lot of investing, but it is very worth it to me because now I work very seamlessly. So let's get into it. Um, we have a standing desk from Need, uh, spelled K-N-E-A-D not in EED, so yeah. And it has different settings. It's already set to my height adjustments, but um, yeah, honestly, I'm not a fan of the sitting stand desk epidemic that has happened because I feel like if you need to stand up, you're working too much, so. But yeah, I fell for it, so I have a standing desk, and it does help when you need it to, but moving on. Um, my main computer is my Apple MacBook Pro from 2021 M1 chip. Um, it serves me perfectly fine. I haven't needed a reason to upgrade it yet, so I haven't. But as soon as I need to, I definitely will. I love, I'm an Apple user. Everything I own is Apple-based, so I'm in the Apple ecosystem. And I don't think I will ever change, sorry. Um, next to it is the Samsung T7 SSD. I use that for my time machine backup, so my computer is always backed up, no matter what, because you never know what could happen. And right next to that is the CalDigit TS3 Thunderbolt station um, that connects everything that I use to my actual computer. Um, and above that is the Apple display uh, on the VESA mount with an Ergo Union? Ergo Union um, mount? Desk mount, sorry. Drawing a blank here. But this is absolutely the best monitor I've ever had. Um, I came from the LG Ultrafine before this and it was 32 inches, bigger screen, but the quality wasn't coming close to this Apple display. So this is a 27 inch and I absolutely love it. Also on my desk is a light bar monitor for my monitor, a light bar that I can adjust and play with whenever I need to change the temperature, things like that. So when I'm working in the late night of the hours, I don't strain my eyes. And we also have my AirPod Maxes that I use for meetings, Zooms, calls, or just to use the noise cancellation and cancel out anything around me and enjoy some music. And last but not least, we have the Logitech MX Keys Mini, as well as the MX Master 3. Definitely my favorite keyboard and mouse combination. I'm coming from the Apple generic thing, so I hated how the mouse needed to be charged in order to be used, and the charger was at the bottom of the mouse. Absolutely terrible design. Um, as well as the generic Apple keyboard that's just plain, yeah. Definitely big fan of the Logitech items. I would recommend them to anybody. And last but not least for my setup is the Herman Miller. Herman Miller Air, Aeron chair in the size C. You know, they do their sizes A, B, C and things of that nature. Um, so yes, absolutely amazing chair. Um, I definitely, have a terrible back from playing football and leaning in my car when I was younger, so I definitely needed a decent chair. Uh, yes, this is very expensive, but please know that I did not pay full retail price for this. But yeah, you have to you have to weigh the options and weigh the balances because either you're gonna pay for the good chair or you're gonna pay a chiropractor or you're gonna pay the hospital bill. You're gonna pay somewhere. So I would just say invest in the chair early and then you don't have to worry about it later. 
So Herman Miller. Moving over to this corner right behind my desk, uh, we have this drawer cabinet uh, that I got from Wayfair that I just use for regular documents and locks and keys and uh, measuring tape, nothing special. Uh, tray on top for my keys, and this is also where I sit my bag, my uh, carry-all bag, as well as a vacuum for the office. Uh, very mandatory to keep a vacuum in the office. I didn't know that, I learned that the hard way. Uh, next to that is my printer. It's the Canon Pro 100. I use this to print documents, but also I can print my own prints up to 13 by 19, so sometimes I do that. Sometimes you have to print your work just to see how the highlights are and make sure your tones are correct. So I definitely do that on the shelf beneath it is just my snacks. But whenever I'm, I need a little pick-me-up, I don't do coffee, uh, so. I just do snacks and smoothies and juices and stuff like that. So beneath that is the soul of my entire collection of images that I've captured in my 14 year career. Uh, that is the Synology 1621 Plus. Uh, that has about maybe 60 terabytes in there full of images. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to upgrade the hard drive soon, but so far so good. Next to the Synology is the UPS, that is the uninterrupted power source. So if the power goes out here at the office, my NAS is plugged directly to that and it will not harm the hard drives and it won't shut off incorrectly, uh, saving me a lot of money and a lot of my uh, files. And above that I have another shelf that I plan to put some cool stuff on. I don't know, air quote cool stuff, but I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know what I should put up here, uh, maybe a print. I'm not into the little Franco pops, I don't, and I'm not a toys kind of guy, but I do like cars, uh, prints maybe. So yeah, if you wanna send me something or anything like that, just let me know, but I definitely need to decorate this shelf up here. I got this just to match the other one in the front of the video. So moving along, we have the Husky workbench that I have recently just purchased, actually this week, because I wanted to separate my gear from my stuff. Uh, in offices and as a creative, a lot of times we get stuff and then equipment and we just jumble them all together and then it gets crazy. So I bought this to help organize my organization, if that makes sense. Um, so this is where I will store my gear. There, as you can see in here, this is the camera drawer. I don't know if you wanna take a peek in there. Yeah, so. I'm unorthodox because I shoot with Sony and Nikon. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not opposed to no brands. I'm not um, sworn to any brand. So if any brand would like to send me anything, please know I will respect your electronics with the utmost. So that's the camera drawer. And we also have just another drawer full of items, small rig, little clamps, and everything in between, microphones, Sony batteries, uh, a turntable for things, and then in the bottom drawer we have other monopods and microphone holders and stands and stuff like that. So it's serving its purpose so far and has helped me organize my brain as well as my equipment. And on top we have the Evolus Primacy 2. This is actually a card or ID printer. Um, I actually got this for a school that I shot their school pictures for and they needed school IDs as well. So this was a nice investment in that. So I can use this whenever I need to. If a person of employment needs a new ID card or just a new picture, I can take their picture over there, come right here, print out their ID card, 10 minutes or less. So that's a good investment. Also, I forgot, um, this is my TV right behind my desk. Um, there's absolutely nothing special about this TV. I put this here because I had nowhere else to put it. I upgraded my TV at my house, so this was my living room TV. This is a 50-inch Samsung uh, smart TV. Um, and I put it here to watch YouTube or have a playlist going or just some ambiance while I'm working, but I never have the TV on while I'm working because it's a distraction for me. So yeah, 50-inch TV. Over in this area, um, my cabinet area, uh, we can start with this print that I printed from Printique. It is a metal print from my content trip video that I can link in the video as well, but that is not an Apple picture. I took that picture and I edited that picture, so now you will see that picture whenever I'm doing something because that costs a lot of money. Also, below this, we have my little counter area. I use this as a backdrop for some of my videos, but it's also very useful. Um, I have my, 
what is this? Instamax Mini 40. This is what I take my Polaroids with uh, that you saw on the wall earlier. Um, pretty simple, not expensive. I just like it because it was black and I can have the film also, film frame also be black. Um, I have um, a clock here that just helps me with the time when it wants to, maybe not. I also have a diffuser, some uh, incense sticks to keep the office smelling decent. I have some books here um, that I also look at from time to time just to get motivation. This is Obama's book from Pete Souza. Sorry if I'm not saying your name right. This is Rap is Risen by Sue Kwan. Very dope book. And this is Contact High, uh, forwarded by Questlove. So I'm a big hip hop fan. I'm also a big photography fan. So when they both collide, I usually spend money. So that's how that works. And next to that is just a charger for a phone or an Apple Watch, whatever you may need it for. Currently my phone's there. And also a JBL Flip 5, just for music purposes, a fake plant, as well as this cabinet. I think it's the best of cabinet from Ikea. And this just catches everything else. This holds camera boxes that we all need to get rid of, I'm sure. And just other things. I have my iPhone gimbal in there, some microphones, road mics, and more film for my Instamax Mini 40. So yeah, I have a few more things coming from Amazon to make that look much better, but that's it for now. Next, we have this very versatile item that I purchased from Amazon. This is the Viozen stand mount. I don't know what they call it, but I just call it a gear tree because there's so much this thing can do and it's very mobile. So if there's ever a shot I need to do quick or just if I need some overhead shots of me working at a desk, I can just set this up and let it go. Um, it has different mounts. This is for the microphone, and these are for whatever you need them for. You can put a light here, you can put a camera here, um, and it is all on wheels. And I just put that sand back there to make it more stable so nothing falls. But yes, this is a very great thing to have in your office. It's mobile, and it couldn't go in small corners like that. So. Yeah. Next, we have my tethered slash charging station. Um, this is very essential for the work that I do in here. Um, I use this tethered setup to make my shoots go much faster. Um, so it's not a lot of shoot, 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 look at it, let the client see it, see if they like it or not. It's shoot, see if you like it immediately on the screen, and then we can end the shoot there or keep shooting and adjust to what we need to. So this is a, Brior Ikea desk and workbench, whatever they call it, but this model doesn't get sold anymore. I think it's discontinued because the newer ones have just drawers only and not this cabinet. I like this version better. I found it on uh, Amazon, not Amazon, Facebook Marketplace is where I found this. So got this uh, cutting mat up here just for when I'm actually cutting things and also as a backdrop for my reels and things of that nature. Uh, this is where I store my pouch for my pocket wizards whenever I need to put them on lights, as well as a box for my remotes for this TV, as well as the light right here. Um, this TV is just an LG TV, nothing special, straight from Best Buy, no specs. I think it's 1080p, it doesn't need to be 4K because none of my clients here are looking for 4K display images. Um, so as far as a charging area, this is where I charge everything, I also have the DJI RS3 Mini um, that I use for my pan in shots that everybody loves so much. So I use that here. Um, and just, you know, Nikon battery chargers, AA battery chargers, uh, my Sony battery chargers, and other chargers for the my ring camera, my vacuum, and all the other things that I have. It's too much stuff here. I probably need to consolidate, but yeah. Everybody needs a charging station. I would say uh, make one that's an Ikea pegboard with all the Ikea uh, accessories. So we can see what's down here. It's really nothing special. This is where wipes and the steamer I have for the clothes that my clients may have if they need to iron out some wrinkles. Just a small handheld vacuum as well as a uh, board cutter. I'm not sure the actual term of that, but yep, that's my tethered gear setup. 
This lovely thing is the foam box. This could be used as an Apple box, but it is much smoother. It's made of styrofoam. So you can see that there. Wooden handle, so whenever I need to be taller, because I'm not tall, I use this and also as a seat if I need to sit down and I give my chairs to whoever's in my office. Um, but it is very handy. Um, it works as a step stool when I'm also adjusting my lights and such. So yeah, foam box. I think I got this from B&H, so yeah. Foam box tucked away there. Um, this is my refrigerator. Um, refrigerator in the office saves you money, people. I could not tell you anything truer than that. Um, saves me from spending and then having leftovers and having to throw the leftovers away. But also, it keeps my beverages cold. So as you can see right now, we are going on a water and body armor diet. I love body armor, so body armor if you're watching. Please send the pack through, I love orange mango. So, simple. That is the refrigerator, trash can. Um, this is just a hook I put here just to hold my camera bags and any other bag I may have on the walk-in uh, for the day. This is the Air um, briefcase pack that I absolutely love, holds a lot of different things, my iPad as well as one of my laptops. And this is the Alpaca Mini Sling. So both of these get carried often on my daily commutes um, and I recommend them highly. They're very durable and as you can see, I love black, so there's that. Next we have uh, these Celines, Celines, not sure how to pronounce it, but we have these wall mounts um, that I actually use for my lights. So usually it's an Alien B on there um, and I'm shooting towards the backdrops for headshots, but currently we have the 60D uh, Amaran light on there with a lantern um, modifier on it because I was doing video. And also we have another one on the other side of the office that I use for lighting my desk area if I need to for a meeting or just product shots. But also they extend long enough to where I can turn them this way and then that one extends and then I can light the middle of the office or I can only light this side of the office or vice versa. So these things are very uh, versatile. Um, they are easily mounted to the wall. Um, I did put some extra screws just to make sure because I don't want any of my equipment falling and breaking. But yes, a very great investment and it keeps C-stands and things off the floor and we have floor space for whatever I may need it for. So absolutely love these. Love the Ameren lights as well as my Alien Bees for photo shoots. Which leads me to this area here for the backdrops. This is a three backdrop stand that I got from B&H. Uh, pretty straightforward. It holds three backdrops at a time and I adjust them based on my needs and whatever the clients may need for their shoot. So right now we have light gray, thunder gray, and white. I'm pretty sure white never comes down because I can always use white for something or even if I need to make the white look like gray, I can do that here. So that is the background setup and lastly this is just my pelican with uh, my lights in it. This holds my three alien bees. I have the 400 watt and two 800 watt ones and yeah I'm looking to upgrade my lighting to Godox very soon because I'm tired of cords being everywhere so right here is where I have my clients stand whenever I'm doing a shoot. The backdrop's here. I'm shooting from there. I also strategically put this mirror here so when they're posing and standing, they can look to the right and make sure they like what they see or make any adjustments, fix their tie, fix the eyelash, whatever the case may be. This mirror was put here specifically for that reason. And yeah, it comes in handy. I've had many clients say, yeah, this is perfect placement. And yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy my office tour. Please subscribe and like this video. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the gear. I will link them in the description below. And until I see you again, peace. I gotta get back to work.